Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a new rebuild. This time we're rebuilding Ajax and they have just haven't been the same after 2018-19 season where they get, when they got to like the semi-finals I think of the Champions League and well, we want to get them higher this time. We want to get them to the finals. They also sacked their last manager uh, with Schroeder leaving the club. And now John Heitinga, who was uh, in the Youth Academy, I think, has taken over. And we're going to be rebuilding Ajax in his way. But as you can see, we're already selling and loaning out players with Klaas and leaving. And also Gonsa Schau leaving. And another loan for Kaplan, who is leaving us for 12 months. And I almost forgot, but we're also going to send our Youth Academy player, Patrick Meyer, to our first team. And we're then going to immediately loan him out to get him some more game time. Because he isn't that great. Like, we could have had a lot better player as our Youth Academy player. We also keep selling players with Berghuis leaving us for 35 million pounds. And with that money we buy a definite Ajax player. A youth, youth, a young player from Brazil. I mean, I don't know how to say his name, but I'm going to try. Rosafal Jelson for 26 million coming from Corinthians. Great signing for our midfield. And another signing that I would see happen in real life for Ajax is Sutolo, a Croatian center back with, yeah, I think he's 22. I think he's 22. But we sign him for 25 million pounds. And after those signings, we're going to sell another player, Kenneth Taylor, leaving us for 17 mil. I mean, I like Taylor in real life, but I mean, uh, in FIFA, he's just not good enough for this team. Regeer also leaving us on loan. And Silvano Foss also leaving us on. And this has got to be our biggest signing. It's a record signing for Ajax. For about 46 million pounds, we sign Pablo Gavi from Barcelona. And halfway through the season, we're first in the league, which I mean, I expected really, to be honest. But it isn't that big of a difference between first and second, with only three points between us and Feyenoord. In the Champions League, I mean, we didn't go through. Not really that bad, though, but uh, yeah, we're not going to be finishing this rebuild in the first season. And we do sell a player in January transfer window with Jorge Sanchez leaving us for 6.3 million, which was his release clause. I didn't really want to sell him, but I didn't really have a choice. But we are going to be playing our first match of this episode, this rebuild episode, I guess, with, with the biggest Dutch uh, derby, I guess. I like, it's it's the biggest match in Dutch football. Ajax against Feyenoord, the Klassieker. And, well, this can win us the league. If we win this game, we win the league. That's why I'm playing it. Like I said, in other rebuilds, we're only playing the most important games. And we're only going to be playing one important game a season. And we're going to be playing, I guess, yeah. We're only going to be playing one important game per competition. So if we win the league now, we're not going to be playing another league game anywhere in this video. Maybe we're going to play a cup game and, well, the Champions League final we're going to be playing if we get there. But we started really well with Kudus immediately scoring in about eight minutes in, in the, the game. It's a great goal, great finish, and we're 1-0 up. And we completely dominate Feyenoord with Kudus playing to Alvarez. Alvarez back to Kudus. Kudus back to Bergwijn. And this is just a beautiful play, beautifully played goal. It's a good goal and we're 2-0 up against our biggest rifles. And even though our keeper Ruli has had an amazing game so far, he saved a lot of things. He can't really save this one. Great header, but we're 2-1. We're still 2-1 up, but it could get tasty. And it does get tasty with Kudus playing to Gavi and Gavi just banging it in. And it's a 3-1 goal. I mean, I don't really know what to say here. So we're going to go on. We're just going to skip over this. And we do win the league. We win our 36th league for Ajax. And it's just great that we win something in our first season. Because most of the times that I do a rebuild, we don't win anything in the first season. So this is a nice change of pace. And it's great to see that we already won something. And I just want to say, it's lovely to see. I love, I like the the, 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 the Dutch trophy. Eredivisie is our first win. Our first competition won in this video. Then immediately into the second season, Remco Pasveer leaving us for free because his contract was running out. And another player leaving us is Jadon Bano for 620k. 
And then we also sell Artsen for 1.2 million pounds. And with all that money that we have in a new season, we buy one of the best players ever. And I mean legit one of the best ever. Probably the second best player ever. Cristiano Ronaldo joining Ajax for not that much money, to be honest. He's, I mean, I saw him on the transfer list and I thought, you know what? He's got a couple of years left in Europe. He's going get to get, get a couple of more goals in the Champions League for Mr. Champions League. Even though I think Messi's better. So kill me in the comments if you want to. He doesn't get number 11. I'm going to change his number to number 7, of course. And well, Ajax sign Ronaldo. Don't know how, but somehow we got one of the best ever to join our club for a merely 32 million pounds. And we go back to selling with Fritz Jim, leaving us for 1.6 million pounds. We also sell Mohamed Darami with... I mean, he is great in career mode, but not if you already have a great starting lineup. And we keep selling players with two more players leaving the club. Kick Piri and Anasala Edini. Edini, Edine. I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry. And with that money, we buy another great player. With Jeremy Frimpong, one of the best Dutch talents in the world right now, joining us from Bayer Leverkusen. And because Frimpong came in, we sell Rensch for 20.9 million. And we also sell Dusan Tadic to Leicester City for 14 million pounds. And we also get another great deal with another good talent. One of the best talents in the world with Bukayo Saka joining us from Arsenal. This is going to be a great team. But the only reason we could sign him was because we sold Kudus for 70 mil. Which, I mean, is just way too much in my opinion. And we also sell Nazi Univar to Besiktas for 3.4 million pounds. And somehow, after signing all these players, we're still third halfway through the season. Don't know how this happened, but it has to be, it has to be better, right? It's, it's, it, we have to get better this season. This isn't great. And in the Champions League, we did go through this time. So maybe we'll get a chance at the trophy this season. And something that I didn't want to happen is Jurgen Timber leaving us for almost 90 million pounds. I mean, it was his release clause, so I didn't have any say in it, but I felt really sad about it. This is what the team looked like at the beginning of the, se beginning of the season. And I would have loved to keep it this way, I'll be honest. And we also Brian Broby to Roma for 28 million pounds, just to get a bit more cash in. And we sold Broby because we could then get one of the best Ajax talents from that season, that 18-19 season. We signed the Licht and bring him back to Ajax for 38 million pounds and Francisco Consensiao. And with the Licht, we do do a bit better, but we still get second place. I mean, it's still almost guaranteed Champions League because, I mean, the playoffs are most likely going to be swept through with ease. So, yeah. We also won the Oranje Baker. I mean, great that we do have a trophy this time and didn't play the game because I didn't really care about it. We're not in the Champions League final, we lost the Inter in the round of 16, which is also not that great. So we have to do another season and we do sell one of our first signings, Sutalo, leaving us for 70 mil to Crystal Palace. And we immediately sign a replacement, Skriniar, joining us. I mean, he's great, really, like, I mean, the signings that we're making right now is really unlikely in real life, but I don't really mind it. And we also sell Rasmussen to Al Nassar for 1.3 million pounds. And another player leaving us is Yuri Regeer going to LAFC. And we now sign a free agent in Andrei Lunin as a backup goalkeeper. I mean, he's 78 rated, so I'm pretty happy about him getting him for free. And another free agent going on the bench is Frank Anchempong. Still don't know how to say his name, but for the bench, he's a great signing. And we, because we got a better goalkeeper for the bench, we sell Jay Gorter to Leeds United. And another player leaving is Yuri Bas to Estrip. Estri Estoriol Praia? Pra 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 Jesus Christ. And I couldn't, I can't really reject this offer for 132 million pounds for Jeremy Frimpong. I mean, I just had to accept it. And as a replacement, we do sign Hakimi, one of the best right backs in the world right now. And we sign him for 80 million pounds and he's the same rating as Frimpong, so I don't mind that at all. But we also sell Owen Weindal to Atletico Madrid for 83 million pounds. And we immediately sign his replacement with Alfonso Davies joining us for 49 million pounds, 94 million pounds, I'm sorry. And with that money, we have one more signing to make. One of the best strikers in world football, in my opinion, 
I mean, he's wearing number 16 right here, but he's going to be wearing number 9. Victor Oshiman joining us for our last bit of cash, which is 90 million pounds. And after all these signings, this is what the team looks like. Alvarez is now captain because he's the only one. I mean, no, not really. Bergwijn, is all, Bergwijn and Rulli are also still here. Th those are the only players that are still here. I mean, it's a lot. It's kind of a lot. Ronaldo is back to the bench like he is used to being at the moment. And Ozyman is our main striker. And somehow we're still second place halfway through the season. I don't understand how this keeps happening. Like, we signed that many good players and we still can't be like way 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 ahead of the rest we get second place in our group stage just for the Champions League I mean what two points difference isn't really that much of a difference so I don't really mind so we could win it this year we could win the Champions League this year and we do not win the Eredivisie which is pretty bad like I didn't make any signings in the January transfer window didn't sell any players the Oranje Baker we also didn't win it so we didn't win anything except for maybe the Champions League because we are in the final baby we get we get to go against our group stage opponents with Leipzig both of us in the same group we're going through and this is how our team looks at the end of the season and this is how the team looks at the moment we still have really in goal uh, don't know how far we how we got here because I mean I thought it would at least take one more season and we could win Ronaldo his sixth Champions League let's go and with Ronaldo winning his sixth, of course, we could win Ajax, their fifth Champions League. I mean, do you, do you count it as Champions Leagues? I mean, I think I do because it's on their sleeve. But five Champions League incoming. And I mean, Leipzig haven't won it yet. So let's keep it that way. I mean, I never thought it would be Leipzig to go up against in this video. We made two rebuilds before and it was always Liverpool who was in the final. And I mean, I don't even see them in the Champions League here. So... Don't really mind that, to be honest, because both matches were pretty hard to play. And now Leipzig, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying Leipzig is a pushover. They still have a really good team, but I think we could potentially win this. And Leipzig do get the first chance with a big chance and a good save from Rulli. I mean, it's I, like I said, it's not going to be an easy match, but 30 minutes played and we only had one shot and goal. And after the corner from that short, Bergwijn is on the run, on the flank. He's alone. And he plays it to Oshiman. Oshiman just finishes it clearly. And it's a 1-0 finish to give us the lead in this Champions League final. 80, 38 minutes played. And we've won. I mean, we've scored a first goal. So I'm really happy about it. Oshiman plays it to our first ever signing from this career. Roosevelt Jailson, one of our first signings. And he does score in the Champions League final. So one of our best signings from rebuild history on this channel i mean i can't really call it history it's only been three videos but one of our best signings uh he's just he's great if you have a lot of money on your career mode sign him because he's 81 rated at the start of a career and now he's scoring for me in the champions league final with this great finish from the brazilian that that's just a good a really good goal jesus it just goes straight in the top corner nice and after this failed cross he does get another chance. Jailson with a shot. And he shoots it wide. And Gomerez somehow gets past Skriniar. Gomerez plays it to Cunha. Cunha plays it back. And it's a good save from Rulli. Our 81 rated keeper at the moment. I don't know how he's still saving a lot of shots here at 81 rated. But he's doing it. So I'm not complaining. Bergwijn on the counter. Cuts inside. Sees Ozyman run. What a beautiful pass from Bergwijn. Oosterman could finish the game here and he does. It's just a really slow finish in the bottom corner. And it's 3-0. And I mean, it's almost guaranteed that we've won our fifth Champions League at this point. And after his great performance, Oosterman is going to get substituted out for Ronaldo. Because I want to see Ronaldo play. And our youth academy player who hasn't grown all that much. I'm going to let him stay on the bench because I don't want to substitute him. And would you look at this. Cristiano Ronaldo back in the champions league final he's playing again and he is gonna win his sixth champions league and even though i did want to see ronaldo score a goal in the champions league final alvarez with a great challenge finishes the game and it's a definite win i mean we already knew we were gonna win when we scored the second or third goal but 
we won it that's the most important part because as you know if you're subscribed we do play the champions league final but if we lose it's also the end of the rebuild so i really want to win every single one and we do win this one with i mean i'll be honest this is one of the most enjoyable one like rebuilds i've done because it didn't take long it was just me signing and selling players a lot so i mean i liked it we still got to have a couple of great players that what was here that were here from like the start of the first season so i'm really happy about this and edson alvarez now captain of ajax the mexican is going to lift the champions league trophy and finish this episode of rebuilding teams and ajax are champions league winners once more and I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you want to see more. And please let me know what teams I should do next. And without any, without any other things to say, goodbye.